Hello, this is Chris. Um, I'm gonna be tacky tonight and smoke a cigarette while I'm doing a video. Hope you don't mind, because I don't give a fuck right now. Um, I'm gonna make this video on uh, Saturn moving into Sagittarius this morning. And uh, I'm interested to know how everyone feels. So, please comment below. I know it'll take you guys about six to eight months to get your comments in, but and but that's cool. I'm not that popular. Uh, I know in my last video I said that I was wanting to do a series or a weekly thing where I'd answer questions for people, but I just started a new job uh, serving. So, and it's the holidays, and I'm doubles, I'm a double, mostly every day, five days a week. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of a little too stressed out. But, anyways, on to what I'm making this video about. It's about um, Saturn moving in the Sag. This is for everybody who has, uh, who was born with Saturn and Sagittarius, and I just wanted to let you guys know some things, even though, however, however long Sagittarius, or Saturn is going to be in Sagittarius, that's your return, so it's going to be two years, but, I mean, if you know your birth time and all that mess and you know how to look at the planets transiting your chart and astro.com is the place to do that you, you know just gotta fool with it for a little while um, I think you go under you make an account you make your profile and then you go to it's under free horoscope celestial events and it's just a lot of buttons to click but you, if you find it, you find it. I hope you can. It's confusing. Anyways, um, it'll show you like where the planets are transiting right now. You know, in accordance to how it's affecting your chart. So it's like your chart with all your little planets, you know, in their right spots in black, I guess. And then on the outside of the wheel is where the planets are now and it'll tell you what house it's in if you know that your t birth time along with the sun of course and uh so you need to pay attention to this like my return may have started today but it officially doesn't enter the 12th house which is my natal saturn house the 12th it doesn't enter my 12th house until January 6th of 2016 to June something of 2016. And then it leaves the 12th house. I guess it goes retrograde back to the 11th. And then in October, it moves back into the 12th. It goes uh, forward. So, I'll have a return twice that year, but my blessing is, is that it's not going to last two years like some people I know. You know, their Saturn's already in their natal house. And, uh, I don't, I, I don't know how they're doing, I haven't talked to them today, I've been working, but... A particular friend, my friend Gina, you've seen her in a video uh, on Mercury Retrograde. Her return started today and it won't leave her sixth house until 2017 <laughs> in January. So she's got a long return. And another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is from what I've learned and uh, from my close astrology friends, you know, Crystal Lynn and all of them, you know, they tell me, if you were born with Saturn in retrograde, 
it kind of reverses the curse. I don't know what that means entirely, but I'm guessing that it means maybe your whole life has been kind of like a Saturn return, and now you kind of get a break. I don't know. I don't know, just a thought. But that's advice I've gotten from some pretty, you know, knowledgeable astrologers. So, <clears throat> keep that in mind if you have Saturn in retrograde. Do not fear too much because you got it a little easier. And just remember, like, all this stuff's for the better. Uh, whatever fucked up happens to you, don't let it kill you. Just bear, you know, get through it. Just get through it. You have to get through it. Because once you get through it, that's when the real reward comes. And most of my friend, close friends, they don't, they, they get like spacey when I start talking about Saturn. Like, oh God, here he goes again. But I'm trying to make it important to them how important this is. Like, this is the time of your life that head chief up there is coming back to check on you. Think of it as the Lord coming down. Well, it's actually Satan. I th <laughs> uh, that's just my belief, so. But he's coming down to check on you. By the way, I don't worship Satan or anything. Just <laughs> uh, He's coming down to check on you. For however long your return will last. And he'll do that three times in your life. So, for all my Saturn and Sages, <clears throat> be strong. When something catastrophic happens to you, get through it. Just remember, keep in your mind that this is a blessing. The bad things that are happening to you are a blessing because it's building you up for who you can be, who the best thing you could be. And it's just such a beautiful thing, but it, you know, it also, it's so scary at first because, I mean, it's going to destroy you. It's going to destroy the bad, and we all are addicted to bad things, and all have bad in our life that we think we need and Saturn's gonna show us like nope you don't need it and there it goes okay so let's move on and you can throw a fit you can do whatever you want but if you're blessed with the knowledge or just even a little knowledge of astrology especially Saturn when you're going through your return you're blessed with that knowledge so keep that in mind too and just stay strong we're all gonna go through it I'm hoping it's not gonna be as dreadful as I thought because you know I have a lot of friends that had that have a Saturn and Scorp Scorpio so actually most of my friends have Saturn and Scorpio and I watched them go through their returns and go oh, it was awful oh my god but then again, it, it might have been a little bit different for them because of it being in Scorpio. And yeah, Saturn in Scorpio does not sound like a walk in the park. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about Saturn for a second. Um, got some new music coming up. I'll, I'm keeping a secret right now. I've got two new songs that are in the works so anyways uh i'll talk to you guys later bye